Okay, now this is an example of where you do not need a shorting plug. And that, because the speed control, the batteries, and everything is, is available, so I can plug all this in. And then it's live, and as soon the transmitter goes on first, the batteries get plugged in, and then you get the motor. But after you fly, you can walk up and unplug it. So you don't need a shorting plug here. But I'll show you another example where you do need a shorting plug. Okay, now this airplane is a control line aerobatics airplane with a timer, not a uh, 2 4 gigahertz transmitter that's why that little button is there but this is a good example of where you do need a shorting plug so let's open this up and let's see why You can see here that the battery is held in by straps and screws and then you got to assemble all of it and then get the and then get the canopy back on. So this is an example where you do want a shorting plug. So when the canopy cover goes down, the shorting plug is not installed. So, it, so the system is not live. Smile. I'll hold the tail. Beep. So with the timer and the control line aerobatics set up, once the uh, system is armed and you push the button, and then it waits a certain amount of time and then the motor starts up automatically and goes to a fixed RPM. But the airplane is live right now with the shorting plug in.